Acceptable? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, there you go. That's slouched. That's that's not ideal when you go at the, the hand up as <laughs> well. <laughs> Screenshot it, guys, please. Yeah, do Send it. Send it to the that's cleaner. That's fantastic. Yeah, the cleaner. Photoshop that's it. right, the cleaner. Someone bring back that lovely gem. Yeah. Good old Cajun. Cajun B. Good old Cajun B. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, yeah. He's a Dane. I was going to say he's a great Dane, but he's, he's just a Dane. He's not a dog. So, guys, there's the information on your screens once again. Come and join. Matt's going to do a meet and greet tomorrow as well. So, if you want to come and meet him, <laughs> okay. he's doing a very special all right. meet and greet yeah, with all I of am. his fans. Woo. And he said all students get in for free, courtesy of Sedicus as well. So, it's going to be absolutely fine. Um, so, Matt, have you been? Have you seen out, out to the main arena yet? Have you seen the stage? It's actually sick looking. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it, I mean, it's a more intimate venue. I think that, I'm kind of glad, like, Boston Major's doing it right now in Dota. Our Major's going to be going to a slightly smaller seating format. I don't think we need to try and constantly be selling out big events, especially when you know North Americans had it quite a few as of late, more than normal. Um, and and it's quite spread out demographic in terms of viewership here. It's not centralized like you get with a small Sweden or a, you know a, a, sure. a Ukraine where you've got very specific viewer And bases. it's more like it's when you're talking about like Dreamhack and stuff like that. We just that's where we just came from, right? Yeah, that's like, yeah, yeah. That's like that's been building up for the like last 15 years. You're gonna have a massive crowd there, regardless, right? Yeah, well, the and they're a little different too because they have the BYOC and they, they're not yeah. focusing as much on the spectator and, and the live this is audience. Like a bespoke event just for this, right? And it's in a region, not, I guess, Anaheim, you can't just say, oh, that's the home of Canada, right? North America, it does bring great crowds here, but uh, it's, yeah, I don't think we have to rely on saying, oh, it but has to be... It's, exactly. It doesn't need 8,000, 9,000, 10,000 every time. Sure, I'd love to have those numbers every time, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't need to have that. Like, the people that were giving backlash to the majors saying, oh, it's only a 5,000 seat arena, yeah. go back and watch, look up, I think it's called, uh, it's called, they've swapped servers, by the way, that's what we're waiting for. Look up the, I think it's called the Play Multicam Edition, when Navi flanks back around and reverses on, I think it's IG when they were playing in that game, I can't remember, I think it was IG, mm. when they used Rubik Steel, um, the black hole, um, or maybe it was Ravage, I don't know, I forget, it's been a long time since I actually invested time into Dota, I miss it, um, but it, they were in like a small Royal Hall in Seattle, and it's like a smaller venue, and it was so hype, and there's people that still say that was some of the best events they had, just because the atmosphere was better, you have uh, better acoustics inside, a, you know, like a smaller arena with lower roof echoes more it's easier to fill up it's easier to, to get camera angles that look better i think everything and then like this one's kind of like uh Lynxus, or not uh Lynxus, um spodic in uh in poland where it's got right. a circular shape to it which looks great oh, on so camera because it, looks, it gives yeah, you more so perspective you get that nice fish eye kind of look yeah, you can get exactly. the whole crowd in i think we're back into it we're back i don't have an ip for my pc but we're gonna try and roll you don't on. need one henry you uh for new, to be fair i don't really need it I, feel no. like I can manage without on you. Oh, I'm still back in. It's fine. So here we go, then, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry for the delay, but here it is. The final game of this evening. Dignitas versus Envious in the winner bracket of Group B. And it will be Superman by Vacation B. He's got the Tech 9. They've actually got two Tech 9s, and it will be maybe focusing towards Ram. That's quite probable. It's not a much used area on the map in general. But um, in terms of the pistols, it's a very advantageous place to go. If you control the Ram, it's the gateway for the map. You have, obviously have the options to go upper and lower. CDs don't have much vision. Sixer will be there by himself for now. MPK coming to back up, but we'll see whether Happy can hold him off. Players in front of his screen right now. Takes a kill there. No one looking at him. And looks like MBS will be running away with this pistol. Still a three on two. And Happy just sealing the deal there with a nice little play. No one checking the hut position at all. I'm, I'm getting a bit of a nightmare sounds. with the, night, the sounds. Yeah, yep. I think, I think <laughs> we're, our observer PC must have had an issue because we're getting sounds from one and the camera from another. It's kind of cool. Happy silencer was very silent. Yeah, I will say that. I think we've, we've, we've got like three observer PCs back there, and I think we're we'll probably on the wrong one right now. But here we go then. Oh, there is an interesting buy coming yes. in from Envious. Four SMGs, not a single rifle. Um, the bomb did not get planted, I believe. Uh, I can't actually remember. No, it didn't. So, interesting that Dignitas haven't force spawned in this round, but Envious has come in with four UMPs. It doesn't really put you in a fantastic position in that first gun round. Kenny S will be getting the AWP out, presumably. He's only got a Tech 9, but he picked up in the pistol. Apex. I guess if you farm enough cash for these these UMPs and you okay, Kenny, why not? Why the hell not? Two That's kills from him. Unreal. I love it. Tech Nine as well. We just talked about the fact that he's not buying in strictly for the sake of an AWP. Good positioning from Apex. Finds Rubino. And then Happy takes down all the all everyone. All the SMGs stay alive except for Kenny, and it doesn't matter as we said. He's up to 40 at 50 already. Now him going down. The one aspect of it is that there's no armor, so going glass cannon against what will just be pistols is. Probably not ideal as set stick on the USB. Well then, no force by Nick has in the second round. Got a couple of pistols there, but uh, Kenny S, he does go down, doesn't buy a single thing at this one apart from armor, so he's just still hoping he can keep the USB up. 
get some headshots. The bomb goes down the upper bomb side. Not really too much to report. So very clean round for MBS overall. We did say going into this one, Dignitas. I guess if they were their five-man team, I'd say they're definitely the favourites going into this one. With Vald there as well, yes, he's a very good player, but it's a very difficult map to actually get that, get that cohesion together and make sure everyone's on board. It's a very tactical map in that sense. The timings are very important, and we'll see whether he can slot in here. I'm not sure how much time they've had. It can't be too long with Vald practicing with them. Well, they had a boot camp and three days they used Ruger. Yeah, so that wasted three days. <laughs> well, they can still go over set pieces for everyone else. That's where you focus on positioning and set smokes and stuff like that. Instead. First gun round, we got four rifles UMPs. and four SMGs. Five rifles and four SMGs. I yeah. know where you were going with that. And so it's all. almost a full bonus. It's not quite. No, the full bonus is Jaden. That is the Jaden round. She was sassy to me this week when I was home. More on that later. <laughs> yeah, let me say that Kenny later. S, AWP. I think she's just being a diva because I'm never there. Cell is going to start to walk back in the main lobby. This is an interesting pushback up, though, because we just saw the positions. They're very aggressively placed inside of that lobby angle, and Sixer's slowly backing away as Happy tries to do the same because the smokes are out there covered off. If he can goes down, Sixer as well, found both by Config, and now everyone's going to pour in. This oh is why they do the bonus round. Again, it seems silly to push that carelessly when you've got guns, but it is the SMGs. They're trying to catch them off. They're trying to take advantage of the situation. It still somehow comes to a one-on-one. -on -one. If they manage to win this on the back of Kenny, think of the money advantage they've just given themselves, and Kenny's going to play this the long way. He's going to go as far back as possible. Cajun grabs the bomb and gets to the A site quickly. Kenny drops in. Cajun should have heard that spotted. Tries to fire through. He's got the position, but he's not got the gun back. Drawn does now. Oh Cajun nearly found that time and tagged up. Got the shin bone, but not enough. Cajun's going to clutch it back. Again, though, they've got money still on the envious side, except for that of Kenny. However, look at Apex. 10k drop drops it over. Config there. Can't believe his luck. They've got the... It was, what, a 5 on 3 at that point? And they decided to push in. Obviously, you can see what they're trying to do. They think, they never expect this. We've got the SMGs. Let's use them in their best possible way. They'll push in close range. But when you've got the 5 on 3, is that a good idea, necessarily? You've still got the man advantage. You've got lots of tight choke points and positions. You can get guaranteed one kills before the T's can even look at you. And Config mows them down. Yes, still we have a lot of money for MVS here. But uh, I don't think that was the right call, in my opinion. I think when you get that mad advantage with the SMGs, you probably just want to capitalize at that point, use the numbers in your favor, and make Dignitas go for the next move there. But still, it was round number five. Like you said, lots of money available for the French side. Mm -hmm. They have got the Orpah Kenny S dropped over from Apex. And we go into smokes towards the outside area. Oh, Dignitas here. That's cool. It's a new lineup for that red box smoke. So I don't know if we can get yeah, that. The one on the right of Kenny right now, between blue and red, that was thrown by Config, if I'm not mistaken. I lost track of who I was looking at. From on top of the rafters, very neat lineup because look how far back it forces the AWP. Happy and Apex, as a result, try and get closer, and they get covered off. That's a direct wrap inside of a main with nothing they can do to slow it down because the AWP is forced so far back. Yeah. So a change in smokes from what we normally see from Dignitas. They're still reinventing the map for themselves. Well, yeah, it looks like it was very effective indeed as well. There was no response from MBS at all. They didn't have any players in towards main entrance. It was MSL and Co. running in towards the main entrance themselves and finding two kills and the retake. Almost impossible at that point. It was a five on three and another player goes down. I think it was MBK that got dropped after finding that first frag into the upper top side. Six and now does find an exit frag. We'll probably want to get out of this situation right now. We have got Kenny S surviving as well. He's towards CT spawn. And I think they're going to be aware of that, especially now as he takes down Rubino as well. So they managed to keep two players alive. I think the money's okay for another round here. Six out finds his second frag. It's in vain in terms of the round outcome, but still managing to stay alive and damaging the money further of Dignitas. So still a buy available for MVS, especially now they've saved those two weapons. But a nice strategic approach from Dignitas. I agree with you. That was actually quite cool to watch. As we go into round number six here. You can see it's an interesting decision. We have got Config on a Mac 10. Took his money overall. He uh, he'd been dropped a little. Yeah. It wasn't great. It's not a, it's not necessarily really in the economy. But the good news is four CD players do not have head armor. Might still pay dividends, and that's going to require a lot of activity. And a lot of activity has already gone down. Happy and MBK three kills in there the sight. There's the Mac 10 though. He's got the movement mechanics, and he's an upgraded onto an M4 immediately. He's got his teammate in the sight with him. But Sixer's going to find Vault. It leaves him the last alive. Bomb down to his right. He has nestled into the corner. Knows there was one at the main entrance. I got the comms from his teammate going down that the other was inside a hut. He's going to take this play without knowing exactly how aggressive their stance still is. Manages to get a bomb down, so smart on him. So we'll off to his right. We'll leave a massive gap, though, toward the main position. But we'll cover him off when he's in this corner watching Heaven instead. And the rotations, as of yet, are not going that direction. In fact, they're going to play the buddy system, stick this together, both inside A main. Kenny's on 36. 
config flashed out, tries to get inside a hut. Spots one, knows they are now both coming in from the same direction. Reverse flash goes in behind him. Nate's gonna take him down to 47, but he's gotta make a call. Does he play the bomb or does he jump through a window to flank them back? Instead, it's Kenny that's gonna greet him with the pistol. Nice approach, Evan Config. Good ideas into how he could have won that round. He Molotov's the bomb, this buys himself a little bit of time. They gets him towards hut. He misses the flashbang when he's trying to bounce back into the bomb site. That that could have been interesting. Had he successfully done it, could have gone for a frag there, but it actually bounced off the door a little bit. And you can see quite patient stuff from Envious there. Bomb goes down. It does allow Dignitas to buy, at least. It's certainly not the best buy. Two AKs, a UMP, two Tech 9s. I've got nades, though. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a very similar approach to the round they won before. Those smoke swords outside, get in the main entrance, and maybe just try and rush them down with those Tech 9s. We'll see what they decide to do. And then into round number seven. It's been quite a quick half so far. Config, lining up a smoke. Maybe we can have a look at him. We're gonna see it. No, nope. oh, he was lining up. He was, screen. but I don't think he threw it. Either way, it's gonna be Apex push back up. Cajun, he'll be the one to fall. I'm not sure if we we're gonna get to spot that or not. Apex is gonna fire through smoke that's onto Squeaky again. We are playing the older version of Nuke. I know you already mentioned it, but not everyone may have been with us at that point in time. So well, you yeah, we, was, we weren't that 100 percent sure. So yeah, we just double checked the patch notes and had a look around. There is a new version of Nuke which looks really interesting. Well, not a new version, an update to Nuke, and. Uh, it makes things a lot more interesting in terms of the upper rushes for the T side as well. Lower has been changed quite dramatically. Yes. But we're not using that today. Which well, is specifically toxic. Yeah. Rubino waiting to go through said squeaky door with Tech 9 in hand. It's happy that's going to climb up. Railing here is also being removed, which I think is a good change because it's too easy to hide behind it, too easy to have damage lost inside of it with bullets deflecting when they come through main. Good spot and good takedown from Happy as Apex is able to take two, wrapping back in behind them. And another good round for Envious as they go 5 2. Remember Dignitas? Often a very, very solid nuke team. Yeah. Still, they've got two rounds after number eight. Like, this is, this is okay. That force by. Didn't really amount to too much. I'd like to see them a bit, a bit more tactical, a bit more of a set piece potentially. Like those tech nines actually cause some damage there. You can see it looked quite comfortable for Envious overall. Going towards up at the end, pretty easy spray down with the CTs. It will be a fully gear, not a single dollar invested. Just double checking that. There's not just five glocks, no armor, no nades. They get the bomb down here. I'll eat my proverbial Ooh. hat. He's shot back in return. He's got to be careful. Kenny only goes on 52 on that dink because it came through the edge of the box. From that, none other than a. Lovely Glock. Happy's able to take him out. This should be a cleanup. Not by the cleaner. He's the last of which to get cleaned up. Six to two for Envious. Guns drawn again. It's going to be five AK-47s. Yeah, we were talking about Cajun B being the main orb for this team. Hasn't really had the opportunity C to bring that up. will. Yet. Don't worry. Yeah, of course. But like the T side, that's that's a pretty solid default for a team to run. You know, go towards outside the basic smokes, and you got your all pack. Go over those picks as well. And CD trying to recover from that position. So. I'm sure that will come out eventually as we go into round number nine. Those will be all silver Kenny S, of course, and he'll have to be bunny hopping in towards the ramp room. Can be a very impactful play to go in for that first frag. You have got a nice little exit strategy to get out of there as well once you find that first kill. Smokes Outer come in. Smokes. Oh, it's just barely there. If you were crouched on the ground, you would see well, through anyone maybe, in heaven. Yeah, yeah anyone in heaven's not going to. Good pick up from Apex, though, as he shuffles over to the, the back squeaky stairs. Good read. We want to see more dynamic from the CT on this map in terms of that fifth player. I still think there's more availability, but that time Apex tries to read the fact the smokes were going there early. He's down one to one. So it's still a four versus four. Kenny's going to back away as well toward the ramp. Cajun's already down below, and he's covering off decontamination, so Bomb just needs to get in safety. Good pick up from config as well as Kenny on that AWP would have been threatening from that position on the entry from ramp. Good pick up from Happy better still as he walks back down. This is going to give two inside of the vents itself. Cajun's just going to watch the back of it. No escape plan and low HP. He's able to now be the cleaner and clean up too. Yeah, pretty textbook round there from Dignitas. More of what we expect from them. The smoke towards out to get that secret control as well. Very fast towards lower and managing to hit the bomb down quickly as well. Cajun B finishing things off there. Simple frags of the CTs come scuttling out of the vents and they get taken down there. Scuttling. And it will be... What was that? Is that impression? Yeah, it <laughs> didn't sound just, anything like my It's accent. just a very English word of you to it say. Is. It is. I haven't said that in a while. It's all quite satisfying. Um, it six is, it's three. not a bad word. It goes through some nice phonetics. Your voice, yeah. your, your, uh, your mouth goes through some good forms. Yep. Scuttling. Did you know that watermelon is the only word you can say that puts your mouth through pretty much every form the English language uses? Watermelon. So if you're ever at a concert and don't know the words, oh, just yeah. lip sync watermelon. watermelon. Yeah, yeah, sure. It's yeah. Like my got, sister got taught me that. Well then, we go into round number 10. There was a pause coming in. This is tactical from MBS. So, after losing that round to the, the outer 
execution, I guess you could say. It was a player there waiting in secret. He managed to get one kill, but uh, Dignitas locked it down. Once you get the final player in secret as well, it's going to be very difficult for the CD to rotate, and that's why you go very quickly in that scenario. And Dignitas capitalized, makes things 6 3. Still all available for Kenny S. Not the same story for Dignitas just yet. Maybe they just don't want to roll with that at all on that T side. Happy to go in the five rifles. Does make things a little bit more dynamic in terms of how you can stick as a unit and operate in the post one situations. Flashes towards outside once again. Same smoke going down as well. I think they've maybe changed things up though. There's two smokes towards the garage area instead of actually locking out the vision though from the CT side of things. Interesting. Is that a, a missed smoke do you think? I'm not 100% sure. I didn't quite catch where it was thrown from but cut and covered off. It's two Ashes. It's a wraparound play. It's happening in Apex, though. They're able to get a jump with them. Sixers contributing as well. Volda, be careful. He's not your real teammate, but for this weekend, he is. You're not my real dad. Kenny S takes down Volda in the end. 7-3, so MVS2 respond after the timeout. And that's going to leave money quite that's limiting. Reset. Yeah. Hard one at that. So... T-side don't necessarily have to double eco, so they've got about 2,600 across the board, so they can just take an eco here, they'll get $1,900 the next round, won't be good enough for an orb, they can still get the 5 AKs out. So at this point, MVS can probably sit back a little bit more, they've got three players coming towards ramp, it seems, from what I can see in the build-up there. It's difficult on Nuke to see what's going on these days, MBK goes straight up towards lower, presumably heading towards secret, and Kenny S locking things down with the AWP at ramp. Sixer just quick check at Turnpike, so he's playing more of the dynamic positioning this time. Instead, though, Kenny, he's found one on his own legs the second as well. This will bring Sixer back. Calls for the rotation. Good timing to get here. Cooper commits, though. Watch to his left. Does he snap back in time? Certainly does. He does indeed. Very comfortable stuff. Five players staying alive there for Envious. And Dignitas, the gun rounds, the ones that are winning, have been very successful and look great. Um, but there's not getting a ton of them so far. 8-3. Envious have won the half. We still have a pause coming as well. Tactical pause for Dignitas. I can confirm that. Thank you for confirming that for us. It's I can confirm your confirmation. Well, there we go. Can production confirm your confirmation of my confirmation? I think they have. They've put it on the screen. Well, there we go. It's all locked in. Take that, Valve. We have three, not two. And it will be 8-3. So Dignitas, the money's not fantastic. I've seen a galore being purchased. And they can buy an orb. Config, I think that's what they've probably taken this pause. Config could buy an orb for his teammate and drop it over. He wouldn't have armor, though. He's got 5k in the bank right now. Galil always be purchased for MSL. I would say, with that Galil purchase, he's obviously opted for more utility. Maybe outside execution coming in again, using the same smoke hit towards Secret that worked so well before. Maybe one player towards Ramp as well, coming for the backstab. MSL, he's plotting something, he's scheming away. You can see him discussing your config there. What have they got up their sleeve? It's outside, it seems, though. Like I said, the smoke's more than likely to be coming out to block off that entrance towards Secret. Take the vision away from Kenny S. Apex waiting in up for the upper rush coming in. Not going to be the case just yet. Well, of course, shooting out those windows at the top of the skylights. You want to do that pretty much every round. You don't have to use them. It just means it's not super obvious when you do have to use them at any given time. Round number 12, getting to the closing seconds of the first half. Think that's looking for two more rounds. I think they'd be happy with Apex opening things up. And MBK in a great position to shut down this outer execution now. Double smoke play again toward red. MBK is on the wrong side of it. Third one's aggressive. That could have given him a chance to push up and wrap behind. Config's aware of that, so he's got his attention turned back. Again, there was a small crevice between the smoke and the edge of the red crate. No one at A-Main to spot that, but MBK. Just this. Down below. Fire extinguisher with a can of flames in his hands. Perhaps he's anticipating that they're exactly going to do that, try and put the flames out, but they can't. So he's using like a real small pixel gap there just to get the information. They, it's very unlikely they can kill him with that one. So he spots that and just drops incendiary, buying time essentially. Not going for kills. He knows the time is getting to like the 45 second mark and he's seen them. Pretty likely they've committed at that point by three or four players. So he can just delay them and call for this crossfire to be set up. Interesting thing is that on the back of that, Sixer stays all the way toward lockers and doesn't watch A-Main. I would have expected out. Happy to get a little more aggressive in A-Main and hold them in the stairwell with that confirmation, but Volda, you're dead right. Valve Volda, oh, okay. he's got all the way up <laughs> into heaven, caught off by Apex. That's going to bring out him in the corner. Watch Happy, he's still here. He's not been found. Good trade by Cajun on the way through, and Config's going to try and follow this up. A little bit of confusion. Sixer, therefore, gets the kill. Envy is going to win it on Kenny, still being inside a HUD as a result. We didn't catch our first kill from Apex, um, so I'm wondering whether that went in, whether we went a little bit aggressive there, or the squeaky door opened. Maybe we can find out right now. Here it is, perfect timing. Nice work, chaps. Just sprayed the into room. the smoke as soon as you saw the door open. Yeah, this is the good thing about having replays on Yuki. You do miss a lot of actions. It's a really difficult map to work out what exactly is going on at any time, so that's amazing. So we got to see that nice close range action from Apex. Funnels him outside. And it's not bad for an Overwatch observer. Yeah, he's doing all right, Sliggy, on the buttons backstage. We'll see what happens there. Round number 13, Kenny. Yes, it's going to be a full eco. I was about to get excited, Matt, but I held myself back. 
Stepping up as you said he would do though, Kenny, in this position at outer. This is the new spot for the Oppers. Secondary position at Big Garage. They don't play as aggressively toward the corner anymore. He's on 14 kills. Add to that, he's on 15 kills. And NBK will close out. It's Apex that's up there with him. Both those guys looking very, very solid right now. Double anyone else on Dignitas. 10-3. In. Here we go then, Cage. And he brings out the AWP. We've been waiting for it for a while. Doesn't have body armor though. Not such a huge deal on you, I have to say. It's one of those maps where if you're going to have confrontation with players, it'd be very long range. And it's either be you're dead straight away or you're not. Like, obviously, against the M4, it's a bit of a problem. But going toe to toe against Kenny, which is more than likely going to happen, won't be such a huge deal. We'll see what happens here as we get into number 14. The smoke's being deployed towards outside, it seems. And this one's going to bounce. Should be the same landing position. There it is at the red. So now they can put the one on Heaven as well. Or rather, not on Heaven, excuse me, on top of the back crate on the corner as well. So this will allow them to wrap all the way around oh, without being so spotted. Nice. But look at the push back. So good. Envious catches them out by pushing in through ramp instead. Baldi gets back down through the ladder. That'll catch MBK. Ball was dropped temporarily, but more importantly, Kenny says this time, rather than leaving himself isolated and redundant in CT spawn, he wants to push and gets caught off as a result of it. Thankfully, I think he'd have been better back. off being in CD spawn there. At least he can lock down Heaven and say, that's clear, don't worry about it. I'm not going to get any kills, but at least you know I've got information there. Now he's died, pushing through that smoke, which is just a huge gamble. He's given it down to a three on three, and now they actually have a real problem shutting things down with Sixer coming to life once again in that lobby area. Finds Cage and BNT spawn. Times it perfectly as Cage and I believe it just switched to a nade. MSL's going to get smoked off as well. Very good read in the fact that they would have wrapped around knowing they killed Kenny at Outer. So bombs still not necessarily grabbable, and look at the positions. Happy. Sixer, and if I'm not mistaken, we just saw the X-ray. Yeah, Apex inside of the A-site. He'll have heard them running by at ramp. They've got a Molotov as well, and at this point, MSL has had to push through. Oh, this is looking awkward for him, but almost got that kill there with Sixer. He finds his third of the round, and Convict giving his position away. 25 seconds, still hasn't got the bomb. Oh, it's getting a little bit tense here, but uh, they should be able to just reload now and recalibrate themselves. That is wall bangable. We can see damage being done, Ooh. and a kill as well, just to... Uh, Reinforce my point there as we go into the 10 second mark. Watch the right. Yeah, doesn't read it. Sixer, good positioning, waited patiently. Through the trophy cabinet. That's not a bad little wall bang. Yeah. Pretty look good. The, look at the money for Envy. Yeah, right now. it's the last round, right? So it doesn't really matter that kill. I know, but look at the no, money. No, no, I, was, I, I want that wrong. money. I'm just saying that Convict getting a kill that didn't have any impact. It's true. Um, so, yes, Dignitas 11 3. That you need for like that means you just have a buffer to lose the pistol. It's still a very CD sided map, and I say in this matchup especially with Dignitas not having the full team, uh, I'd say it certainly is going to be a CT sided affair for both sides. And we're going to round number 15. Four AKs, a UMP, four smokes. Amazing situation with Dig right now. But if they can pick up this last round, at least they've bought themselves the risk to lose the pistol as well. Six has such a strong position. We call this the OP spot in ramp. He has to do from it, but equally responded is going to be Dignitas, making it a three on three. But Kenny has on the rotations. No one going to be walking to his cross at this time. Dignitas opt to go straight down towards lower, but Apex lying in wait. Can he do anything with his position? I think he can, Matt. I think he yeah, can. He definitely can. They're going to walk right by. Line up as well. Drop down. He's got two already. Find the third and Apex. All three. Good call. As he gets 12-3 on the board for Envious, dominant first half, and I think Dignitas have met their match on this. I don't think they were expecting this from Nuke. I know Yanko thought this was going to go to Cobble, and was surprised Nuke wasn't banned out. This is why. Yeah. This is lovely positioning from Apex. Like, I could feel it coming. Is there, as soon as I didn't check it straight away, I thought, that's it. He's just absolutely lighting them up right now. This last shot is stellar as well. Look at that. Valda goes down. How do we pronounce it on? Do you say Valda? I say Valda. 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 I don't know. Okay. I think I had it right at one point in time <laughs> just, in my life. Just forget how to say it. Just go yeah, something else. Yeah, you know. Valda. That sounds right. We'll go with that one. Five sets of armor for Dignitas here. No kits. That's a bit of a problem. The bomb goes down. And we're going to have smoke going in towards the hot position. We're being over a chance to get the first couple of fractures, but knocked down by... MBK towards lower they go as well. No presence there for the CTs whatsoever. And the bomb should be planted at this point. Like I said, no kit. That's a massive problem. That's even more of a problem. It's happy finds a kill towards outside. Round over. Valder. Last player towards ramp. And before I can even kind of build up a storyline there, the round is going to be over. It's going to be 13 Yeah, that's a huge problem now because Dignitas 12 3. You talk about that second pistol. You put pressure on it. They fail to pick up the one on their T side. They lose their CT side. This goes to 15 3. And Dignitas don't have money to build up that AWP. We may not even get to see that. Very dynamic style of play, and I can't say this is pented on any one particular person, and I say that obviously Look due to the fact box. that they have a mercenary, so this is just a team issue in this game for There's them. only so many maps you can get sorted out, right? Obviously, they're more comfortable as a team on nuke. They feel like oh, there's not that much work needs to be done, but evidently uh, a few holes to plug at the moment as we go into round number 17. It's going to be a force by, of course, from Dignitas. Looking to maybe do some of these 5-7s. Should be able to get his first kill here. 
lot of damage inflicted towards Kenny S. Doesn't get taken down just yet. Towards lower they go, though. That's a problem. The CT is soon that bomb planted. That's pretty much round over, I'm afraid. Six to five to second. MBK chimes in as well. These rounds are over so quickly, and Config finds himself in a five versus one situation. But flashbang in hand, and now gets himself a UMP. Config jumps back through window, but bomb planted lower. Well and truly got toward Toxic. You were saying that in the new map. They updated yes. the plant position in lower. Yes, you cannot plant on the silo in lower I, I, anymore. I like that. I kind of like it as well. I think like in the sick clutch situations, if you got down in like a three on one, you had a real good chance of winning. I thought it was actually quite an interesting addition. I, I didn't mind at all. It was like a high risk situation to plant there. Like you had to have balls to actually get on top of that and actually plant in that position. You were so exposed. Once you did the once the risk was taken, it was successful. It was worth it. I, I find that a bit of a shame they removed that. But, I agree. Uh, Anyway. But Ball is then exposed to side 14-3 for Envious. And again... Uh, yeah, you can't really force him to this round either. You're going to have to allow Envious to go to 15-3 and try and just squeeze out 12 rounds in a row. Can we done before, Matt? I once lost 14-1 in the semi-final round on the T side, and I came back and won 15-0 and got myself in the grand final. Replaying so. against bots. NBK going to take down MSL. <laughs> NBK going to take down Rubino as well. Good entrances into the upper side. Again, the pistols, that's all they've really got to work with. They have... Just three players, now two players remaining as well in this, so not much chance to find anything at all, even for Valda. Valda Mord. GDG. Do you want to continue that sentence? No. Which one? The Moses sentiment. The Moses sentiment? GG. Oh, that one. Yeah, there you go. Oh, right. You figured it out. Map point going to be attained now for Envious, but this is where things... If they're going to get interesting... We'll do so because we've got guns out. Again, we won't have the AWP, so we'll see how Cajun chooses to approach the situation and where exactly he's going to play this from. Because it looks like it'll only be one Danish team at this point in time moving forward. In the groups, it won't be Dignitas matching that of Astralis. It may be a French side of Envious. Thing is, when you a lot have of people in this group might have expected. When you have match point at this sort of stage, and you have 12 rounds, you can afford to be a little bit looser. Just take some risk at this point, just do things nice and simply and quickly. And you can see, nice little execution towards that side. Three smokes going down, plugging all the holes in terms of gaps. There's no way a CD can even challenge that. They know Kenny S, I should say Kenny S, occasion won't have an AWP at this point. And they've got one kit and one smoke remaining. That's about it. This kill has to be for Config does damage and manages to take down Apex. A chance here. If you get a second as well, that's fantastic. Good work from Config. Very good work. In fact, because Cajun stayed so passive, he didn't have a lot of information. They just called they didn't know, hence the angle he plays. But Rubino caught off by Kenny. Happy follows it up, and it's just two remaining. Cajun's not sure which way to even go on this because they could go back up the vents onto the A site just in the fact that Vold is holding them off. And if they do so, he wants to be in position. They've done exactly that. Is Six are going to read this. Plant's safe behind the silo. Second man spotted. Cajun can't hit the shot. Leaves him exposed. Two players going to peek him. Kenny puts him down, and it's on to the mercenary. And keep in mind what this means for the group. And it's all over now. Envious will move through. Dignitas, who absolutely smashed SK, get beat twice as hard here. Now may end up playing either them or Immortals in a decider. This group's gotten very interesting. Yeah, great news for Envious. It's quite rare to see them have a clean...